This is hopefully going to be a very quick overview of WordPress to get you up and running as quickly as possible just to get a very good understanding of how it works. We're going to go over pages and posts, we're going to go over plugins, widgets, sidebars, the general settings, and themes. So let's get started. We're going to go to our demo website and we're going to log in. And you do that by going slash wp admin. We put in our username and password. And let's open up a site in a new tab, the same site in a new tab, so that we can see what's going on. The first thing uh, I want to talk about is the default WordPress setup. It's set up like a blog where your uh, post, your new posts, these are each of these are called post, uh, goes on the website and it's ordered by date. So this is just like a news website where you can click on the different headlines and it actually goes to the page and you can make a comment on it just like other uh, news website and blog websites. Alright, so let's add a new post. So we can go to post and add new. And we click publish. And we can see if we refresh this that our new post is there. And if we click on it, you can make comments to it or you know this would obviously be like a whole story and uh, we could add pictures by clicking this button right here and we could disable comments by going to screen options and clicking discussion and going to the bottom and unchecking allow comments and pressing update so that's pretty much it about post if you don't want to set up your website as a blog you can change that and I made a video on it it's a little beyond this uh, tutorial, but it's really simple to do. You don't need to know any coding or anything. So if you have a small business that doesn't have a blog on it, which most small businesses don't, you just want to showcase your about us and services and things like that, then you want to take off the uh, option to blog, which is very simple. But search for my other videos to find out about that. The next thing I want to talk about is pages. Now most websites won't have blogs, they'll just have pages. So let's see how to make a new page. And a page is like a, again, like an about us page or a contact page or your services page. So let's add new page. We do that by pressing pages and then going to add new. And this is the about us page. and we can click publish and if we refresh this page we should see the about us page now the about us page is set up so it has no sidebar and a lot of times uh, there's a sidebar over here that says subscribe to your website or has a picture of you and your company it just has different content over here and you set that up by going to template and going to sidebar template and then clicking update. Now we can see that the sidebar says hello world and we can go ahead and change that which brings me to our next section under appearance we can go to widgets so these are called sidebar widgets and you can see in my sidebar I have hello hello world we can put different things into the sidebar that are pre-made for us like these pages you just drag it and you press save so hopefully now we see the pages and you can put images and buttons in here and, and sign up forms if you want and that way you can really customize this sidebar so that your users can do different things. You can even have advertising in your sidebar so it can generate some money for you. 
The next most interesting thing by far, I think, is plugins. You're really going to love this because it extends the functionality of your website. So on this website that I made, I added a slideshow. And this is a plugin. I didn't code any of this slideshow. I just said, hey, WordPress, uh, let's extend the functionality of you and let's add a plugin. So there's different plugins like this contact uh, form and uh, I have a tutorial on that also how to do a contact form and this social media plugin so you can have Facebook YouTube you don't need to code in all of this you just people have already built it for you you just extend the functionality of it so let's look for a plugin let's look for a um, let's see contact form 7 that's a very popular plugin and we can see the details of it and we can install it now so if we just go install now it installs for you and it activates then we can see uh, on the left side here it says contact and that's our new plugin so if we go to it we can see that it just says copy this code into a post or a page so we do that go back to our page about us page click edit paste it in and press update now if we refresh this we see that we have a email form now and there are all types of plugins too many to name but you can search for them by going to plugins and uh, add new and they have a whole bunch here so if you want to see a widget plugin this is for the sidebar widgets we can see that you know it adds a link to Facebook or different things and we can see the details of it and even screenshots so see what this plugin looks like And that is a pretty much overview of plugins. Users, you can manage your users. You can add a different admin or different uh, people that log in or just regular users. And uh, settings here, we can go to general and we can change the name of our blog and our tagline and uh, what our WordPress website is. Be careful with this one. If you change it to something different, it's hard to log into. So and you could change the default email address and a whole bunch of different things uh, under reading we could change it so that our front page is uh, a different page that it's not just your latest post it's not it's not set up like a blog but it's set up like um, a regular website would be set up so let's see that change and see now it doesn't show our blog it just shows the about us page because we set it here under settings and reading and there's a whole bunch of uh, other things that I could go over but I think those are the most important things for WordPress